This is a mini lesson on how to draw a parallelogram using a measuring device and a protractor. And the task is to draw a parallelogram with a 100 degree and an 80 degree angle uh, with 10 centimeter and 4 centimeter sides. All right, so the first thing we're always going to do when we're drawing a parallelogram is to draw a nice long line across the bottom. Call that a baseline, maybe. All right, and then the second thing we're going to do off of that line is uh, we're going to measure 100 degree or 80 degree angles, but first we have to measure one of the two measurements for the sides. And I'm going to start with the 10 centimeter side. All right, so I'm going to line up my measure device with the line, and you can see how. Uh, the line is longer than 10 centimeters, and again, making a longer line is going to help me with my protractor. All right, so I'm going to make a mark at zero, and I'm going to make a mark at 10. Oh, can't see those marks, so I'm going to draw them a little longer. Zero and 10. And at that point, I have measured out a 10 centimeter segment. So from that mark to that mark, it is 10 centimeters. But again, the line, longer line helps me with my protractor. So off of this point and off of this point, I'm going to draw one of these two angles, either 100 or 80. And um, it doesn't matter which, because again, when you draw one, you automatically draw the other if you start with a straight, long, straight line around the bottom. All right, so I'm going to bring over my protractor, make it slightly bigger, and line it up with the bottom and then measuring from the right here it's going to be 0 10 and I'm going to draw the 80 degree line over here so I'm going to go 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and go out to the edge and make my mark out on the edge it's right at the 80 degree line and so once I have that in place I can move my protractor out of the way line up my um, straight edge here it should line up pretty well. Let's move over just a little bit. Okay. And then drawing a nice long line there. So I have one of my angles drawn, and now I'm going to draw the other angle. And the other angle is going to be off of this point. So back with the protractor. So again, starting with a nice long line along the bottom, and then me measuring two angles off of that line going up the sides. All right, once you have it in place, you're going to measure from, well, I can't see it, but 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80, going out to the edge there and drawing another 80 degree line mark, connecting those two points. All right, now I have my sides drawn. Bottom is 10 centimeters. The sides are drawn, but they are longer than 4 centimeters right now. So I need to measure up from the bottom line up 4 centimeters on this side and make a mark, right? So I need my straight edge back over here, my ruler. <clears throat> and I'm going to line the 0 up with that corner, and then I'll make a mark at the 4. So the 0 goes to the corner. Mark goes to the 4 there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Zero goes to the corner. Mark goes right on the four. At that point, I have marked off two four centimeter sides. And now I need to connect those two points, and it will give me my top side. I bring back my straight edge. I'm going to be using it to connect. Make sure it goes through both points perfectly. This one's missing it slightly over here. Oh, well, it's going to miss it slightly. All right, and now I have a parallelogram with two 10 centimeter sides, two 4 centimeter sides, and angles of 80 and 100. And then this one's going to be 80, and this one's going to be 100. Last thing is 
we need to erase all the extra marks that we made just give us a nice clean parallelogram finished